Hello, uh, in this video I show how to install the modding tool for Factorio. First you need a web server and a MySQL database on your computer and the easiest uh, installation is uh, use this XAMPP and download and install this and uh, use your version you need. When uh, installation is done, you have this icon here. Double click and now you have some config options, but um, you need to find the order directory where the HT docs is in. It's, uh, I think, in um, normal we uh, some we are in this owners but you can reconfig this so i have it in this ordner directory if you have uh, installed it then start all these uh, two things and now your web server and my SQL database is running. Next uh, is to to change uh, uh, use PHP my admin. It's I think also here somewhere. Um, and you have access to your databases. This is empty in in your. Uh, first installation, uh, maybe it's some, uh, this is in and this. Now it's, now you need to create a new database and name it Factorio. Or, yes, Factorio, it's a good name. And press create and this is, the, this is the database. Now make sure you have the database selected and no other and go for import and select the provided uh, SQL Factorio SQL with, uh, with a number I uploaded and click OK. Now uh, it's completely imported all your uh, informations uh, at this time and now it's time to install the modding tool itself. Um, it's provided as zip file and I have it here and this is my file and this uh, needs to go in this HT docs or other ordner that uh, the web server has access. So I think I copy it here. I'll make a copy and insert and extract in this order directory uh, move remove this version number it's not uh, needed and now you have uh, this this structure this is the complete program at this time and it needs uh, some help from you to function to get a better function and so you need from Factorio um, this base graphics from here and uh, to have uh, access you need to make an order base like so and graphics 
I think I can copy it directly, genau, uh, copy and go here. Uh, for your own mod, it's the same procedure, or so I need to make my uh, I think I can later change this and but for now it's the easiest way so I uh, make so and use for mods um, the same okay this needs uh, only one you install it and after you have it all, then it's done. I copy from uh, from a previous build, and uh, looks like so. For my main mod, it's okay, and uh, this is uh, that's all I think. And next is you need to um, go into mcore this year and uh, check if you have set uh, your password and uh, access to the database. In uh, this case I need to change it and that's all you can you save and now uh, it should working. I need a new tab. And press uh, uh, change your, your to your path, and if you see this, all works fine. Uh, the version needs changed, and this is the, uh, the, the mods. And you can see here some stuff I have shown uh, before. And I think uh, that's all for the installation. If you encounter some errors, uh, try to fix by yourself or let me know so I can help you with the uh, installation. I'm, uh, for checking if it's uh, correctly working, you use the first, this is the base mod and it should show some things and you can also go to items and this show should show all vanilla items later. Hopefully it's okay. That's all for the installation and I, I think it's easy and everyone can do this.